Okay, guys, so now you've had a little intro to Wix, and now we're going to actually create a site. This is a dashboard, so you can see some sites that I created. I showed you this one. Um, it'll save your stuff here um, without you having to save automatically, but if you do make changes and you want them to reflect in your site, you have to hit the publish button. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm just going to hit create a new site. Now, when we do this, guys, you know, it has some choices here. Uh, at this point, we're not really doing a store. Uh, we're not at that point. We're just kind of, let's go with business and see, because you kind of have to uh, experiment. I want us to do this with a template, okay? It'd be great if we wanted uh, its system to do it for us. That'd be beautiful. But at the same time, I think you need to experience this to, to get the customization that you want. But here are some templates. Now, these things are all changeable. Uh, there are thousands of them. So let's say you were looking at doing perhaps a retail store uh, art. Let's put this in and bam, you've got some cool stuff that comes up. Now for us, when we do this, we're going to want to include some things. Now you can start with the blank template, by the way, which is what I did on my, on my, on my website. Uh, that's not the big deal. I kind of like this one, uh, because it has already, um, some boxes but if we were to do a blank one let's say we would come in here and here kind of has some nice templates that can help you achieve what you want now we're only working on a welcome page to start okay and then we're going to add other aspects as we move forward throughout the year and what are those aspects we'll add stuff about um, our product and service pricing we will add a business uh, model canvas which we're going to add next we're going to add um, information perhaps about your products and actually show them on there with some examples. And it's a progress. It's, it's a process. So we're going to be progressing through it. One of the things is this is all about, and this is what I always tell you all, is experimentation. You've got to experiment. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give you feedback on your website as a group uh, and move from that point. But the website, it's got to pop. It's got to be good. Uh, and it's got to have some facets that are going to be clear and attract customers. So your instructions are gonna be in here under build your website, but also I wanted to show you in our module that there's a couple of readings and these readings are simple, but they're here and they are powerful. Now, here's the deal guys, when you're thinking about your website design, you need to think about some of the key principles. And I like this one because it just goes through some basic tips. Um, and I like it because it also has what we call our infographics. So, um, you know, we want to keep it balanced, whereas this looks off base. So I almost say keep it symmetrical. Okay. The use of grids or tables are really effective for spacing. Uh, pick two or three base colors and don't deviate because you can get too much. Now, of course, depending on you know, your branding and what you're trying to do. Maybe you could have more, but I think this really helps. You want a clean, simple, informative look that's easy to navigate. Uh, make sure your graphics are also aligned and, you know, you've got to be worried about your typography. So how things are written, make sure it's clear. When I first built that other website, I had to get feedback from my kids. They're like, coach, I couldn't see this. And you've got to take that feedback in stride. Uh, it's not criticism, it's help. Um, this is kind of some, you know, add some white space around stuff. And finally, have all the elements connected. And that can be through your pages, but really I think it's more of your being thematic throughout. Now, if you look through here, there's more information. Um, and, you know, it's very, very important that when you look at this, you still can see examples. You guys go to websites every day, all the time. You can differentiate between good and bad. However, I think that it's helpful to keep looking. And so you, what you can do is look at look at product or services that are similar to the one that you're trying to achieve. That can really help you uh, in coming up with an idea. I do want you to be creative. I do want you to do uh, something that represents what you're trying to achieve. And part of that is trial and error. It's that idea of we're going to validate these ideas and see if there's really an interest or there's really an opportunity uh, for this to take hold. And so this has a lot of good tips. It's not too heavy. Uh, and I think it gives good examples and has some really cool ones in here that can help you look at things. Um, 
you know, on this first page, what we're going to be looking for is I'm going to go into this module. We're going back to the build the website. And on here, guys, what we're trying to do on this very first page is I want us to have our value proposition, which is generally a headline and then kind of some subtitles. And I'll show you, uh, as we've seen many, many before, uh, let's go to Uber real quickly. I think Uber probably has it. it it's could have changed because guys, see, now it's Discover Delicious uh, Eats. It's different. They're talking about, you know, not Uber rides, but Uber Eats. Uh, but they're still going to have on here, you know, generally their UVP. Now, what I will tell you is that this has changed. If you were to look at our literature, when we first came to Uber, 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 it was just the ride part. And we could look up, you know, right here. And probably going to have a lot of images. And here it is. So this is what Uber kind of looked like originally. And this is something that I want to see on your page, on your welcome page. Um, you're going to have your UVP that indicates to your customer what value that you are going to offer. Okay. So, um, and if you can get an idea, here's another one for Uber. Tap the app, get a ride. That's kind of sloganish, but at the same time, right here below is the UVP. So you kind of have a catchphrase and it gets you. Uh, there's a generally a little difference. Remember that we talked about kind of like Nike, let's do it, or McDonald's, loving it. Those aren't telling me UVP. And I do want you to have a catchphrase on here. Uh, however, you need to elucidate, enumerate, demonstrate, and educate your clientele about what it is you're offering on this welcome page. We'll add more pages as we get more skilled, but I want you to play around with this. You've got uh, a kind of an extended time to do this, but it won't always be our main focus. We'll present these web pages after we do our presentations and you'll get feedback from people. And what we might do is I might have you guys just create Google Forms where people can give you feedback within your class and it won't be, it'll be anonymous so people won't know. But I don't think we have much problems having an honest discussion, judging by the, the feedback that I've gotten uh, from students. So, you know, guys, that's what we're aiming for. That's what we're going for. Have fun with this. Be creative. You're going to live and learn. And one thing I do want to say to you is when you do this, okay, and I'm in here struggling with all these things. Remember, this has got to be, okay, this has got to be both a um, fixed desktop website and a mobile one. So if it's not working with a mobile thing, then we're kind of in trouble. So guys, um, give it a go. Let's rock and roll. I can't wait to see what you guys produce.